Four hundred thirty-eight house seats. Now we didn't always have that many seats, right? Ryan likes those. We had based on you know size of the country. So in seventeen ninety, there were one hundred fourteen states. If you take this three point six one five nine two rate constitution with Smart for spend time. Well, it's home time now on 514. Alex kind of jacked the camera during math, so you saw some of that. And it's been off and off, clouds and sun. It's just about 70 degrees, and check that out. I'm working on the house over there. The, the color is, the darker color is the new color. And, uh, well, for my taste, it's a little dark, but I think it'll look better when they get all the trim and the shutters and stuff done. Anyways, I got home here about 1240, maybe 1245. And these were here. These are the brake pads. I ordered them Monday, Monday night at like 7 or 8 o'clock, and they actually came today, so that's really good shipping from Delaware. Uh, they're Hawk High Performance Street pads, and uh, we got some of this gearhead grease. And they're really heavy, but there they are. So those are going to be put on today at about 3. I just talked to the manager over there. I would have liked it, like, and I would have liked to take it over now at 12.30, because I don't have to be back at school for an hour. Um, but they were busy now, so I'm going to go over around 3.15 to 3.30, have them do that. And then I don't know if they follow the instructions on the back here, it says burnishing. I've never heard that word. Usually I hear bedding the pads when you put new pads on, but here's the steps. Six to ten stops from 30 to 35, applying moderate pressure. Two to three more hard stops from 40 to 45. Don't drag the brakes to figure out what they mean by that, probably just, you know, just tapping the brakes at low speeds. Then 15 minutes for it to cool down and then you're done. So if they don't do that, then I will. And that sounds pretty easy. I'll just go find a parking lot or some dead road somewhere and use that. And then I have to go pick up that um, push rod from Sohars, get that piece for my dad. And I'm meeting him at dinner tonight somewhere up like 10 miles up Route 8. I don't know, that's gonna be a pain in the ass to go find that place. So today's a busy day. We didn't really do anything in math today, as you saw, so that was easy, and the next class I have to do is easy. Most of the crap today is just afterwards. But my spoutings are mostly done, as you saw yesterday, so now I just kinda of need to get up here. The design is this, of this is stupid. This entire room, it's not much roof space up there, but this entire room drains over to a point, not at this corner, but you know, over there. And it drains over there. We have gutter guards up there to keep stuff from getting in there, but I think it gets in from here where there's no gutter guards and ends up washing down there and getting under the gutter guards. So I actually could do that now. I have, I have 45 minutes or an hour, but I don't want to get all dirty. So maybe I'll take a ladder out there, crawl up there, pull the gutter guard off, and I'll show you what we're looking at. Maybe. Maybe I'll do that now. Maybe I won't. And it actually doesn't look like having a ladder in here dicked up the mulch too bad. As you can see, I, I do have this draining down there because I was using the other hose yesterday, so I'm going to fix this now. Well, I'm going to be heading back in about uh, five or ten minutes. I never got outside and got up on a ladder because I did inside stuff. There's a bunch of stuff on my desk, a bunch of mail and stuff. Got that organized. The power washer, I had to put parts in the truck. I drained the gas tank yesterday, so today I put it in a bag, got the air filter out there tools and stuff. The car's loaded down with garbage I'm taking to my dad. This is crap that I'm taking to him tonight. We're going to grab dinner somewhere and uh, swap the parts. And we haven't heard that the piece is in yet up at Sohar's, but I'll be going up there this afternoon. I hope to pick it up. Guys, it's 3.19. I'm on my way over to uh, MTB. It's just on the other side of that school bus on the intersection here uh, to have my brake pads put on. I don't think it's going to take more than an hour. But uh, we'll get over there and I'll let you know what happens. Oh, freaking right, check it out. It's gonna be piss pouring soon, but right now we've got sun, which calls for Oakley's. This was the target speed before the pads were put on, right here at 30 miles per hour. She's silent, pads fixed it. Finally something worked in my favor. Ended up costing $247 uh, for parts and labor, but I'm happy with it, I uh, just ended up uh, they didn't bed the pads, so I bed the pads on uh, Terex. There was no traffic there, so up to 30, down to 10, up to 40, down to 10, up to 50, down to 10, up to 60, down to 10, with moderate to uh, higher pressure on the pads, and everything sounds and feels great. So uh, that's done. Now to move on to all the other shit I gotta do this month. Hey, yeah! Oh, that looks awesome. Check that out. You can see the rain coming down over there. And then there's a dividing line right there. That looks intense. And then there's blue skies above the high school. Boy, that is rare. Oh, wow, that's different. 
How often do we see these cars parked like that? Yeah, I got to work again. You know, remember I washed this, I think, Saturday night late. It was dark when I finished. Well, I got rained on a couple times today, and I drove down a road that they were working on the ditch, and door handles down was just mud. It was disgusting. So I washed it again with some help from Kenan, and you know, I had those new pads on. I drove it for a little bit, and obviously it's clean now, but I'm not getting, I think, I think, with the amount I've driven it so far with the new pads, I don't think I'm getting nearly as much dust, which is nice, because they feel better and they're not loud now. So it'd be nice to kill a few birds with one stone, but it's all clean now again. I did the wheels, I did exhaust, I did the entire thing, and it's not supposed to rain until Sunday. I'm not going anywhere Sunday, at least not that I'm driving. Um, and then next Monday, it's like 30%. So in the meantime, I should wash the Honda, but that's kind of her job, and it's not really that dirty. Uh, speaking of jobs, I spent another out, another hour outside today working in the spoutings. I'll show you the crap that comes out. I, I think I did it before. But I just pitched it in the trash can. You see that? Not really. It's too dark. Look at that. It's disgusting. Oh, and it stinks, too. I did the sunroom all the way around, got up there with the hose, flushed everything out, perfectly clean. Ran into some bees. They don't like the hose. But I didn't get stung, so good productive day. Got the car cleaned again, and it should be clean for, uh, I hope, a week. And I did the sunroom, and now I'm going to go. It's, uh, it's early again. It's not even 11 o'clock, but I like sleep. I've, uh, last week, my goal was to be in bed at 12 o'clock, and last week, it was past 1 o'clock every week, every day. This week, I'd like to make it 11.30. We woke up this morning at like 8 o'clock. I was ready to go. I didn't even have to get up until um, 8.50 or so. So it was really nice to just lay there for almost an hour and uh, just enjoy lying in bed. So I'm going to try to do that again. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, 5.15 on Thursday already. This week is gone. Good night, guys. Thanks for watching.